scenario you're about to view is the follow-up session, in which the same 17-year-old youth from the previous video is being seen for his second session at a mental health provider for symptoms of depression. The youth completed the CRAP 2.1 plus N at his previous appointment. That previously completed screening questionnaire will be reviewed interview style with the counselor prior to their regularly scheduled session. The focus will be on determining if there are any changes that would warrant referral for treatment. All right, well, hi, nice to see you again. Uh, glad you can make the appointment. I appreciate you taking the time out to be here. Um, before we get started with our main session, uh, do you, I'd like to ask you just a few questions and, and touch base again about that questionnaire we did last time. Do you remember when I asked you about your nicotine and marijuana use? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Right. Cool. Is, is it okay if we just kind of review some of those again? Yeah, sure. All right, great. Um, well, last time we met, you reported that you don't drink alcohol because you thought it was, in your words, stupid, right? Um, is, is that still the case? Um any alcohol use? Yeah, uh, it's still the same. Uh, I don't like it at all. I still think it's uh, stupid. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, okay, that's great. Uh, and, and last time we talked, uh, you shared that you vaped nicotine and used marijuana about three times prior to us meeting. Um, has there been any use or anything changed? No, uh, still, still the same. Okay, so no use between last time and now. Yeah. Um, that's great. I'm, I'm happy to hear that you've avoided any of the, any drug use or those two things. Um, well, last time you you were here, you pointed to where your confidence level was on uh, this chart, if you remember this one. Um, and uh, do you remember where you were on here? Yeah, I think it was a 10 I pointed. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, are you still that confident to continue avoiding uh marijuana and, and nicotine or is it lower perhaps higher uh, no nah, i guess it's about the same um like i said that's not really that big of a deal so right. well i wouldn't say it's not a big deal i i think that it's great that you've you know that you've uh, avoided it and what you've accomplished um you know avoiding things like this and, and perhaps even saying no can be challenging for young people due to all the misinformation that is out there regarding both marijuana and, and nicotine Thanks. I don't know. I guess it's uh, just something I don't really have, have the time for. I'm real busy with everything going on, so I just don't have the time for it. All right. Well, it, it sounds like you made up your mind for uh, for now. Do you remember um, the other the, the other chart that I asked to point to where your willingness to change was? Um, and if I remember correctly, you were at a three. Are you or a two? It, has that changed at all? Uh, I know last time I was at a three, um, so I guess it might be a little higher now. All right. Great. Um, uh, can I ask why? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I guess it's been just a while since I last, since last time I uh, did it. Uh, I feel like it's not a big deal kind of to avoid it now. Okay. All right. Well, so I'm really happy to hear that you're avoiding the use of nicotine and marijuana. And uh, one thing I was really impressed with when last time was that you had reported never riding in a car uh, with anyone who had used alcohol or marijuana. Uh, is that still the same? Have you been avoiding that situation? Yeah, I don't really want to take the risk of getting in trouble like that. Uh, besides, I'm really trying to avoid people uh, like that in that situation. Great. Well, um, that's great, and, and I hope you to continue to avoid those uh, individuals and things and situations. Uh, it sounds like you've really thought things through, and uh, as we continue to meet for your regular session, I would like to kind of check in on these things at the start of our future sessions. Would that be okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. All right, fantastic. All right, well, let's uh, let's have our regular session now. Sound good? It sounds good. All right, great. This craft screen was completed in just over three minutes. The counselor simply asked permission to revisit the previously asked questions on the craft, which was administered self-report at the client's initial session. The counselor inquired if there was any recent use between now and last session, and affirmations were provided throughout the three minutes for any reported healthy decision making. The readiness to change ruler was used to gauge the client's motivation, which remained high, and his willingness to change, which the client reported an increase in, allowed for positive recognition. The car question was asked, and affirmation was provided for avoiding risky situations. The counselor asked permission to continue to check in at the start of future sessions, and the client agreed. 
Keeping the screen under three to four minutes in an interview format allows for normalization of the screening questions and allows for transition into the regularly scheduled counseling session. Explore the other expert videos listed below for further information.